Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks and I am an absolute plonker. This is the second time I'm recording this video. I literally just recorded it. Literally just got to the end. Tabbed out, went to stop the recording and went, why is it, oh you idiot, you didn't press record did you? You absolute numpty max. So I'm recording this video for the second time. So I'm going to have to say everything again and this, oh it's all, it always happens, the second time is never as good as the first time. Which is really annoying but going to have to deal with it. So anyway, this is me. This is one of my replays. I've been playing a lot of World of Tanks recently, um, and I've actually got some replays which I feel are worthy of going up on my own channel. Whoop whoop! And yeah, so this is me playing my T-54 Mod 1. I need to actually go into a view where um, I can see what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, flush side of the Egg Panther. How can you possibly miss Max U? Doofus. And yeah, T54 Mod 1. Um, one of my, if not my favourite, tier 8 premium premium tanks. Um, it's it's pretty good. It's got good armour, good gun, decent mobility. Mobility's not the best though, in, in fairness. Shot into the KV-85 there. There's a T29. I'm platooned up with Tom in his M41 Walker Bulldog, who is already dead. He did take 1357F with him, but that's not really a fair trade. Um, and Mario in his 1357F. Um, go on, Max. Go take a shot at KV85. It'll be fine. Ooh. Took a lot of shots there, Max. Um, should probably try that again, you know. J just just to make sure you, you, you want to take a fair few hits. T29 resorts to firing HE at me. I leave him on 6 health. Oh, I can kill this KV-85. Yeah, let's do that, Max. Sounds like a good... Oh, no. Oh, I've been tracked as well. Oh, ow. Kill the T29, Max. Yeah, you killed the T... Oh, no. Oh, there goes your ammo rack and your loader. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That hurt. In all of that, I lost all of my hit points by 34. My ammo rack, my loader, so therefore my repair kit and my first aid kit. And my fuel tanks, and my tracks. And nearest damn it, everything in my tank then. To pick up a kill on a T29 and not even kill a KV-85. See, Unicom uni uni plays here, boys. Unicom plays here. Don't get ran by a Tiger, Max. Do not get reverse ran by a Tiger. Good. Wow, 303. That was a very nice roll. I just realised that. So yeah, that's going to come in important um, later on in the game, but oh no, you're on 34 health, the CDC's rushing you. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh, oh you bounced. That's fine then. <laughs> but yeah, being on 34 hit points and losing that many modules early on in the game is going to turn out to be quite valuable in terms of medals. Now this game, I'm not going to spoil it completely, but I get two medals which I've never got before. And two medals that I've never got before, one of which is incredibly, incredibly hard to get. The other of which you've just got to be a bit lucky. But still, it's still a nice one to have. So, yeah, what's happened so far? I've lost all my health, as we've established. I've done 1,300 damage and picked up one kill. Not looking great, if I'm perfectly honest. And not a lot's happening. Ooh, Yag Panther. Right, you can't possibly miss the Egg Panther this time. Way We hit some in. This game, I got really frustrated with the amount of shots that sh really should have hit, but missed. Like that first, uh, second, first and second shot I took at the Egg Panther. Right, my first and second shot of the game. Go uh, uh, uh. Really? My gunner in this game was too drunk on vodka, I swear. He was just... Uh, actually, no. She was too drunk on vodka. I've got female crew in this thing. They're five skill female crew, which isn't as impressive as my fi uh, f five, almost six skill now, um, American medium tank crew. Once those guys get to six skill, I'll make another video on um, crew training, because not many people get to six skills on a tank, especially the the men men crews, because obviously fe female crews, getting to f six skills on female crews is effectively like getting to, oh my god, are you serious? is effectively like getting to uh, five skills on a normal um, man crew. Flush shots at a 
Fucking FV, come on, World of Tanks. RNGesus did not like me this game. Well, for half this game. But, you never know. Still a good game. Otherwise, I wouldn't be putting it up. But yeah, I can't believe we just missed two shots of that FV, which we really should not have missed. But then, RNG goes and does this. Look, quite a difficult shot on the SU-8. Fire and high roll and kill him. I assume that's why they call it RNG. It's very random. Oh, CDC's having another go at me, and he tracks me. <laughs> and then, yeah, we managed to get a shot into him. Our centurion friend puts a shot into him. Our centurion friend misses him. Our centurion friend is tracked. I need to call, stop calling him my centurion friend. It sounds weird. And I finish off the CDC for my centurion friend. Last time I say it, I promise. Now, um, those last two shots that we fired at CDC, obviously, were APCR. Because we have actually run out of AP rounds. Because on this tank, AP only has 183mm penetration. Which is still a lot better than it used to be, because it got buffed from 175. The APCR has 235, and the reason I take so much is because this thing can still meet tier 10s. Because it's one of the more recent tier 8 premiums to be added into the game. And when you're at tier 10, and all you've got is 183mm penetration... Good luck is the is the only two words. Oh, don't miss the bulldog, Max. You plonker. I mean, admittedly that wasn't fully aimed, but that still should have been a lot better than that. Come on, RNG. Don't go out in front of a lover, Max. It's not smart. Wait until you're unspotted at least before you try and do something stupid, like that. That was still something stupid, and you didn't even pen him. That was the ag that. 300 damage that he took there was actually from the Egg Panther, not me. And now our Egg Panther friend is in trouble. I need to stop calling people Egg Panther friend and Centurion friend and please start hitting shots, T54. Jeez. Hey, you hit that one and the T150 finishes him off. For our fifth kill of the game, only two tanks left and this is the point where I think, ooh, they've only got two tanks left. I have four shells left in my tank. They only have one tank left alive, and I have three shells left in my tank. Hmm. All of my tanks on my team that are still alive are very slow. There is only one tank left alive on the enemy team. He just fired, and I know roughly where he is. I only have three shells left that do 250 average damage, and he has 350 health. I have an idea. Were well, my precise thoughts. So I put my first one into him. My second one. Oh, I must hit it. Oh, no, uh, I, I appear to have missed. That was actually quite dangerous, because he could have actually killed me there. But anyway. Oh, no, I stopped it. He died. Shock and horror after he fired. And that was with my last shell of the game, so I picked up a fade in the middle there. Admittedly, I did try for it, but only when I had about four shells left, I had to get to that point first. And that was the one that I was saying was a bit lucky. And the other one completely took me by surprise, and I had absolutely no idea I got it. Um, it's quite—it's one of the um, rarer medals in World of Tanks, actually. But it will have to wait for the post-game stats before I try and butcher how you how you say it. But yeah, anyway, we picked up three thousand seven hundred ninety-three damage, which we saw. I can't remember if we hit any blind shots or not. Oh, I'll have to have a look at the post-game stats for that. I really can't remember. We also picked up 7 kills, so that on its own is a very, very, very nice game in the uh, T54 Mod 1. Just under 4k damage and 7 kills is really nice. We also blocked 2,440, again, very nice. Ending the game on that 34 hit points, which we pretty much were left with after 2 minutes. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please subscribe and like for more. And yeah, let's just go take a very quick look at the post-game stats. So, here we go, guys. Post-game stats, and oh my god, I was so surprised when I came out of game and saw three yellow ribbons for epic medals on my screen. I was like, what the f*** did I do? So, yeah, we picked up a Pascucci's medal, which you all know for killing three artillery. The Faden's medal, the first one I've ever got for killing the last enemy tank with the last shell of my tank. Also, I've got this up on another page, the Tarkazi's medal, which is for having five... Uh, enemy vehicles destroyed while having five modules damaged and losing 80% of your hit points of your vehicle. We also picked up the top gun, a high caliber steel wall, and cool headed. 
We picked up 3,793 damage, 7 kills, and 1,639 base XP, which was a pretty ridiculous game, as well as the 7 medals we picked up. 7! And the Tarkazi's medal, I've never got one of those before, and I don't think I ever will again. They're a really, really rare medal to get. So he fired 34 shots, hit 21, and pen 19. Um, and we also blocked 2,440 damage with our armor. We made 121,000 credits that game, but we did lose quite a lot because obviously we fired every single shell in our tank, including all of the APCR rounds. But we still made a 40,000 credit profit, which is very, very nice. So yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please subscribe and like if you're not already and if you really enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.